So today we're going to be looking at answering infinitely many solutions to systems of equations questions and uh, even though this sounds like extremely specialised uh, topic, in actual fact these questions are quite common. So basically just to give an overview before we go through um, a trick which makes these things uh, quite a lot easier, um, what we're talking about, we have a system of equations here, a1x add b1y add c1z equals d1 blah 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 a2 a3 and we can write that as an augmented matrix, uh, a1 a2 a3 ab b1 b2 b3 c1 c2 3c and d1 d2 d3 and from which we can get the determinants one main determinant which is d here which is the the, the standard one and then three what are called numerator determinants which come from Kramer's rule which are dx dy and uh, dz now basically this d here the main determinant which is the a1 b1 c1 determinant that dictates whether or not uh, there is a unique or not solution. So if D is not zero, that determinant is not zero, then there is a unique solution. Okay, well, in this video, we're not bothered about that. That's for other videos. Now, if D does equal zero, uh, then basically one of two things will happen. If the numerator determinants are also all zero, then the equations are consistent and dependent, and there are infinitely many solutions. So this is the one we are dealing with today. If that is not the case, dx does not equal dy, does not equal dx, does not equal zero, then there are no solutions and the equations are inconsistent, which is we're not dealing with that today. Okay, now basically let's come to the trick. Okay, so basically in order for there to be infinitely many solutions, which is the questions we're going to be looking at today, we need d to be zero and dx, dy and dz to be zero. Now basically what will happen in these questions is we will tend to have two unknowns. What we ought need to do is find any two of these four and make them zero to solve the for the two unknowns and this will become clearer once we do an example. Now in the Kramer uh, rule numerator determinants we have to have the determinants in this particular order but as we are testing to see if the determinants are zero we don't care what the order of the columns is because the order of moving columns around, let's say we move that one and that one on a determinant, all it does is flip the sign. Well, if we're testing for the determinant to be equal to zero, we don't care if it's minus zero or plus zero. So what we can do is we can do something very simple and let's get on and just do an example rather than me just keep um, blathering on. Right, so here's question number one uh, from the JE main, January 2024. So we have a system of equations We've got infinitely many solutions, we're told that, and we're asked to find what 13 alpha beta is. Um, okay, so I'll just let anybody do that who wishes to. Okay, so what we're going to do, let's just write down the uh, the augmented matrix. So that's going to be 2, 3, minus 1, 5. 1 alpha, all I'm doing is taking the, uh, the coefficients, 3 minus 4. 3 minus 1 beta and 7 and obviously we need to find alpha and beta okay so this is the trick what we're going to do first of all is we are going to hide that beta column now I don't know how to hide that so let's I'll tell you what we're going to do let's just delete it for now like that okay that's hiding it but if you're actually in an exam you could hide it with a pencil uh, just literally put your pencil on top and let's turn that into a determinant there OK, now that is one of our numerator determinants with the columns in the wrong order. But what we need to do is we need to test to see where that equals zero because we know there's infinitely many solutions. So therefore, we know that the numerator determinants and the main determinant are all equal to zero. So all we need to do now is expand this out. So that will give us two times seven alpha minus four minus three times seven add twelve add 5 times minus 1 minus 3 alpha equals 0. All I've done is I've expanded this 3 by 3 uh, determinant. That gives us 14 alpha minus 8 minus 57 minus 5 minus 15 alpha equals 0, i.e. alpha equals minus 70. And all I did there was I hid this column here to give us a 3 by 3 determinant. Now let's just put it back in again. That would be uh, minus 1 3 and beta and we know what alpha is now but we're actually not going to use that what we're going to do now is we are going to hide this column so let's uh i'll tell you what let's uh, delete that column there and now we have a different three by three uh determinant and we're now going to evaluate that and that will tell us 
what beta is and this is far quicker than doing it any other way so let's have a look now at this second one let's go over here and see what that is okay so we're hiding the alpha column now so we're going to get 2 times 21 add 4 beta add 1 times 7 add 12 add 5 times beta minus 9 equals 0 again because the deter the numerator determinants must equal 0 for it to have infinitely many so solutions and so that means therefore we got 42 add 8 beta add 19 add 5 beta minus 45 equals 0 i.e. we have there 13 beta equals minus 16 so beta equals minus 16 over 13 so we know what beta is we know what alpha is just by looking at uh, hiding the right columns and all we need to do now is work out what 13 alpha beta is well 13 alpha beta is equal to 13 times minus 70 times minus 16 over 13 which is minus 70 times minus 16 which is 700 add 420 which equals 1120 which is answer number two so that was relatively quick okay so now let's do another one just to uh, uh, consolidate what we're uh, learning here okay so this is a very similar question let the system of equations these three equations here have an infinite number of solutions great that means the determinant and all the numerator determinants are going to be zero then what is lambda plus two mu okay so um just give you a second just to do that if you wish okay right so first of all let's just do the augmenting matrix that's going to be one two three five 2, 3, 1, 9, 4, 3, lambda, mu. Okay, and what we're going to do is uh, we're going to hide one of the uh, columns. And uh, I'll tell you what, why not hide the uh, mu one? Let's hide that first, just by getting rid of it. So we hide the mu one. And all we're going to do now is we are going to... Uh, uh, expand out this determinant here and that will get tell us what lambda is because we know that's going to be equal to zero so that's one times three lambda minus three minus two times two lambda minus four add three times six minus 12 i mean you do need to know how to expand determinants but that that's for another video that's equal zero so therefore we have three lambda minus three minus four lambda add eight minus 18 equals oh, sorry add eight that's not very good writing sorry about that minus 18 equals zero i.e lambda equals minus 13 so we found lambda very easily okay so now let's just uh put back in our uh, augmented uh, matrix here um because we found lambda now what we're going to do is we are just going to hide the lambda column Okay, uh, and then we're going to uh, expand that to three by three, made, uh, three by three determinant to find out what mu is. So let's go over here now. So that is going to be uh, one times three mu minus twenty seven minus two times two mu minus thirty six add five times six minus twelve, and that equals zero. I.e., three mu minus twenty seven minus four mu add seventy two minus 30 equals zero so mu equals 15 okay so basically we found very simply uh, what lambda and mu are and now all we need to do is work out what lambda plus 2 mu is well that's a uh, simple so that's basically equals to uh, minus 13 add 30 which equals 17 which is answer number two and you can see that these things are fairly straightforward if we use this method Okay, so now let's have a look at the third one here. Okay, so for the system of linear equations, which of the following is not correct? Okay, so we got, um, when does it have a unique solution? Now remember, it has a unique solution when the main determinant is not equal to zero. Uh, and with then we're having two and three is infinitely many solutions. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna do exactly the same, um, exactly the same method uh, as we've done before. So let's uh, do the uh, augmented matrix here. That'd be two, four, two A, B, one, two, three, four, two, five, two, eight. Okay, so first of all, what we're gonna do is we're gonna hide the B column. So let's just uh, erase that. And again, in an exam, you can hide it with your pen. Um, it just makes it much easier to work out. So we're going to hide that B column there. Okay, and that's going to give us that. And that's the main determinant there. That's the main determinant D. So that gives us equal to 2 times 4 minus 15 minus 4 times 2 minus 6 add 2A times 5 minus 4. That's the main determinant D. 
and that equals minus 22 add 16 add 2a which is 2a minus 6. So basically we know that the main determinant is 2a minus 6. That is going to be e uh, equal to 0 when a equals 3. So basically um, if a is not 3 then we know that the determinant, the main determinant is not zero, so therefore there'll be a unique solution. So we know that number one is true, because here A is six, and we know that if A is six, then uh, the determinant is not zero, so we know there's a unique solution. Ditto number four. So we know that one of number two or number three must be wrong. So basically we can see here A equals three. So let us now assume that A equals three, which means the main determinant equals zero, and let's put back our... Uh, fourth row here b for eight and now let us hide uh, or rub out the third column here and then let's evaluate that determinant uh, and basically that should be able to tell us whether two or three is correct so basically now we're going to do this three by three okay so basically that is uh, we've hidden the a column so that gives us two times 16 minus 20 minus four times uh, eight minus eight add b times 5 minus 4, okay, and we need that to be equal to 0 in order for there to be infinitely many solutions, this is a numerator uh, determinant, so that basically is uh, minus 8 add b equals 0, i.e. b equals 8, so when b equals 8, we know the numerator determinant is 0, and therefore we know there are infinite number of solutions, so we know that 3 is correct as well, and therefore the one that is not correct is 2. Because even though A equals 3 does give us the main determinant being 0, B equals 6 does not give us the numerator determinant being 0, and so therefore that is the incorrect option. Okay, well I hope you found this useful. It really is a very good time saver. Um, and it basically makes it much easier to do these questions when there are infinitely many solutions. Because basically, rather than having to mess around with all the columns and, uh, and doing linear transformations and all this sort of stuff, you literally just have to hide the relevant common column and uh, work out the other determinant. Okay, I hope you found this useful. If you have, please like the video and subscribe to the Gracia Academy YouTube channel. 